Hello Matrix. Welcome to this section, a tangent to a circle. In itself, a very straightforward concept. However, in this video, several of the earlier concepts will be incorporated. The pre-grade 12 ones and equations of circles in general and in standard form. And after a tangent to a circle, we will do points of intersection, followed by the toolkit and two videos on exam prep. From circle geometry, we recall that a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. So if the gradient of the tangent is equal to minus 5, then the gradient of the radius will be equal to plus a fifth, the negative reciprocal of minus 5. To find the equation of a tangent, we use the gradient m and a point. In the straight line equation, either that one or that one. Now pause to apply this in worked example 1, where you need to find the gradient and then the equation of the tangent PQ. And something different in worked example 2. Pause to check your answers. The radius is perpendicular to the tangent. The gradient of the radius is equal to 2 and so the gradient of the tangent is minus a half. To find the equation of the tangent, we use the gradient of minus a half and point P on the line to find the equation using either that form or that form and we arrive at our answer. Pause to check your answers in worked example 2. The horizontal tangents are y equals 5 and y equals minus 5. The vertical tangents are x equals 10 and x equals 0, the y-axis. Now pause to do these two examples. Pause to check your answers a, b and c of worked example 3. To determine the equation of the circle, which has its centre at the origin, we need only to find the radius r. And since we have point p on the graph, we substitute. r squared equals x squared plus y squared, and we get the value of 25 for r squared. Therefore the equation is x squared plus y squared equal to 25. op perpendicular to tr the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Finding the gradient of TR, the tangent. Well, the gradient of the radius, OP, is equal to the tan of the obtuse angle of inclination, 4 over minus 3. And therefore, the gradient of the tangent, TR, is plus 3 over 4. Pause to check D and E. The equation of tangent TR. From C, we have the gradient equal to 3 quarters and a point on the line, minus 3, 4. So we substitute to find our answer. The coordinates of T and R. T and R are axis intercepts. At T, y equals 0 which we substitute to find the value of x. And the point is then that value of x together with y equal to naught. At r, x equals 0, which we substitute to find the y coordinate of 6 and a quarter to go with the x coordinate of 0. Pause to check your answers where some analyzing was needed. Ask the questions. In A, to find the equation of a line, we need a point, and we have one, m, and we need the gradient. From the equation of the tangent, y equals x plus 1, the gradient is equal to 1, and therefore the gradient of the diameter is minus 1. And we find the equation of the diameter by substituting the gradient and the point. Check your answer. In B, to find the equation of a circle, we need the centre, which we have, and we need r, the radius. 
But to calculate r, we need the coordinates of the point p. And the significance of the point p is that it is the point of intersection of the diameter and the tangent. And so we solve the equations. And we find the coordinates of p to be minus 1, 0. Noting that so p is actually on the x-axis since the y-coordinate is naught, which is not truly reflected by our drawing, but our drawings are not meant to be that accurate. So r squared then equals mp squared equal to 18, and the equation of the circle, if we substitute our center to minus 3, we find the equation of the circle to be x minus 2 all squared plus y plus 3 all squared equal to 18. We need to consider a tangent as a side of a right angled triangle. The equation of a circle gives us the center and the radius. And AP squared plus the radius squared is equal to OA squared. Pause to apply this useful relationship in worked example 5. Pause to check your answer. We need to determine the equation of the circle. We have the center, Q, so we need to find R, the radius. R squared is equal to QA squared minus AP squared. And we find QA squared from the distance formula. And the square of AP is simply 45. And therefore R squared is equal to 100. And we substitute the coordinates of the point, minus 2, 1, together with r squared equal to 100, to find the equation of the circle. Pause to try worked example 6. Pause to check your answers. In A, we are asked to show that the coordinates of the midpoint M are minus 4, 3, we would have preferred to have written them down by inspection. But when given the instruction to show, that is when we need to reason and show detail as we have done. To find the equation of the tangent AD, we have two points A and D from which to calculate the gradient, and point A is in fact the y-intercept, and therefore C is equal to 5, and the equation is easily found. To find the length of AM, we use the distance formula, and then the equation of circle center M in general form. The center is minus 4, 3, and the radius is the square root of 20. And therefore, the standard form is easily written down. From there, we multiply out to arrive at the general form. Check your answers. The quadrilateral is a kite. The y-coordinates of C and D are both minus 1, and therefore the line CD is parallel to the x-axis and perpendicular to the y-axis, and in particular to the other diagonal AK. The vertical lengths AT and TK are both equal to 6 units, 5 down to minus 1, minus 1 down to minus 7, and therefore the diagonal CD by 6 diagonal AK at right angles. It would not have been enough to just prove that the diagonals intersected at 90 degrees. An alternative was to use the distance formula to prove two pairs of adjacent sides equal. Very tedious though. Opposite sides of this quadrilateral are not parallel and therefore it is not a parallelogram and definitely therefore not a rhombus nor a rectangle. Thank you for listening. I trust you enjoyed bringing in all your experience from the earlier sections. Formulae, graph concepts, straight lines and even quadrilaterals. Be inspired as you discover that when you only learn how, you remember for a moment. But when you learn why, you remember for a lifetime. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. 
Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.